Hey, Dr. Jeff LaCour with Compasio Medical Education. Let's say you're sleeping soundly and are suddenly awakened by a creature entering your ear canal. What should you do? I had a patient recently that came in with a live roach in her ear and the roach was actually waving at me, little creepy. It's alive. And it got me thinking, why would a roach be attracted to the ear? I don't know. I think we need to go find someone that knows a little bit about insects. Hey guys, we're here in New Orleans at the Ottoman Insectarium. We're going to go meet our new friend, Zach Lemon. He's the curator of animal collections here. Let's go. Hey, what's up, Zach? Jeff LaCour, nice to meet you, man. Great to see you too. Thanks so much for joining us. Now, what I want you to see, first of all, is this this even a roach? Okay, I'm gonna put my glasses on. All right, let's take a look. So what would you make of that? You know, when I first saw the front, I thought to myself, it's a roach or close kin, like a cricket. Yes, yes. Uh, if you just showed me that in isolation, I might almost wonder if it were a termite, but the antennae are a little bit too long. If this isn't a roach, I can't guess at what else it would be. So I, mean, I, I, I will agree that it's a roach. I'm not an entomologist, but when I saw this, I was thinking roach. See how it kind of, it even kind of winks at us Well, a they don't bit. have eyelids. What, they don't have eyelids? And what am I seeing that's <laughs> winking? <laughs> You're seeing uh, the palp, that thing right okay, there that's, okay. that's, that's twitching. So why are roaches attracted to the ear first of all? Well, the ear is dark, it's moist, and it's warm. And most roaches in the world need to rest in or, or stay in places that are like that. I have read there might be some odors that uh, the ear gives off that might lead a roach there thinking that there's food there as well. Oh wow. Now that said, I've never heard of a roach making a meal out of anything inside of someone's ear. So Zach gave us a tour of the insectarium and taught us a lot about roaches. Watch what this pine wing does. Oh wow. All right, so Zach, fair to say this cave roach is not getting into someone's ear, correct? Not, not that size. <laughs> that would I be mean, everybody really, starts out small, right? A seriously huge ear. Yeah. Did you know that there are 4,000 species of roaches? Thankfully, only about 12 can cause a home infestation and possibly crawl into your ear. So we have that going for us. At the end of the tour, we had some snacks, some bugs, some crickets. They were actually quite good. So back to our patient. What would you do if you had a roach crawl into your ear? Should you get a toothpick, tweezers, or a Q-tip? Please don't. There's a good likelihood that you could force the insect deeper and actually traumatize your eardrum. What I would do at that point is if you don't have a hole in your eardrum or ear tubes, you can actually put some mineral oil, olive oil, or baby oil into your ear. And what you do is you turn your head to this side, the insects right here, you put about five to 10 drops in there and that will drown the insect. After that, you can go to your medical provider to have it extracted. So let's take a look at this patient. What we did here, which you'll see, is the roach is still waving its little hand, and then we put an oily substance into the ear canal and I allow it to sit for about two minutes. After that, what we do is we get a little alligator forceps and extract the roach. So here we are getting it out and success. So should you be lying awake at night worrying about a roach crawling into your ear? Absolutely not. These are rare freak occurrences. That being said, if it ever happens to you, now you know what to do. Don't fall asleep. I'm Dr. Jeff LaCour with Compasio. See you next time.